a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. What's Helming Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Thursday, April 19th. I'm Octavio, and this is my co anchor, Joy. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If you are applying for next year's video production or yearbook class, you are reminded that applications are due back to Mr. Jacobson in room 472 soon. Robotics practice is today after school from 320 to 430 in room 505. Please arrive there on time. See you all there. Reader sign-ups for the Poetry Slam start today at brunch. Stop by the library if you want to make sure that you have a spot in next week's Poetry Slam. Our softball tournament is finally here. If you would like a chance to show off your softball skills, come to the gym today at lunch with a team of 10 to apply. Hope to see you all participate. The library is closed at lunch today. Please plan to take, to take care of your library business at brunch or after school. Today, we are having our Defy and SCV meeting at lunch in the NPR. Club members can bring a friend. See you at lunch. Attention La Mesa athletes, Golden Valley's head football coach and head baseball coach will be on campus today to pass along important information regarding their sports. In addition, the athletic director will also be here to distribute information regarding all other Golden Valley High School sports. If you are interested in participating in high school sports, please stop by the Golden Valley High School booth at lunch. Would you like to join Canyon's dance team next year? Come and join us on Wednesday, April 25th from, from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the CHS Auxiliary Gym for our clinic and on Thursday, April 26th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the dance room AA1 for tryouts. The mandatory parent meeting will take place on Monday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. in the Canyon High School's library. Tryouts application is available for in the main office for you to pick up. There will be several elective classes offered during summer school. Seventh grade students will be able to sign up for creative writing, science project, exploratory Spanish, nutrition and exercise, exploratory art, marine science, beginning guitar, to technology fundamentals or beginning video production. There will be four college and career readiness classes offered during summer school. Eighth grade students will be able to sign up for exploring careers in business, exploring travel, tourism, and hospitality careers, exploring animal science, or exploring health careers. If you would like more information, including an application on any of the above classes or information on ways you can make up credits during summer school, please see your counselor. You know that game, this or that? Well, we wanted to know your opinion on some very interesting topics. Converse for sure. Vans. That's a hard one. I probably have exactly the same amount as Converse as I do Vans, so I'd have to say I like them both equally. Converse. Adidas. I would also 
also rather have a Adidas. Nike. Nike for sure. Um, Adidas. Um, probably Nike. Um, I, I have more Adidas stuff, so I guess I'm Adidas. I'm a cat person. I am a dog person. I'm a dog person. Dog for sure. Dogs. <laughs> um, I really, I'm scared to death of dogs since I had a couple jump on me when I was little. Um, and I would say I like the big cats, but I can't have a tiger or a lion in my house. Um, I have to say I'm a dog person. Although, growing up, we had a lot of stray cats um, in Thailand, so my parents always took them in. So I grew up with cats, but now, as an adult, I like dogs a little bit more. My favorite ice cream flavor is cookie dough. My favorite ice cream is orange creamsicle. Vanilla. Uh, my favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Um, chocolate. My favorite ice cream flavor is actually rainbow sherbet, which is not really ice cream, but when I get a double scoop, I get rainbow sherbet, and then I get chocolate with walnuts. And um, anything coffee related. Oh, flavor. My favorite sport is soccer and track and field. My favorite sport is track and field and cross country. Uh, my favorite sport is probably football. Well, my favorite sport is volleyball. I played on a travel team when I was in high school. Um, probably volleyball. It's actually volleyball. Even though I played softball in high school and in college, I really like volleyball. Uh, my favorite sport has to be old oh, now. I watch a lot of basketball. Um, I do a lot of um, running as well. Um, anything active, active is great. Um, but growing up though in Thailand, where I came from, we watch. Um, um, we have a national sport called sepak takraw. Um, it's pretty much like volleyball and um, soccer combined. So you have to kick a ball across a net, just like in volleyball. But you can you can only use legs, so that's really uh, a fast pace and is um, use a lot of skills. Today in history, on April twentieth, seventeen seventy five, the American Revolution officially began when seven hundred British troops confronted seventy seven American militia men in Lexington, Massachusetts. Today is also the birth date of Russian tennis star Maria Sharapova. She is 31 years old. The word of the day for today is greenhouse effect. It is a noun. The definition is the warming of the atmosphere and surface of a planet. A sample sentence would be the atmosphere of the earth traps sunlight, various gases, and other particles to produce the greenhouse effect. Something you should know about today. Today is National High Five Day. This is a fun day where you can high five everyone that you see. Folklore fills the hollowed halls of sports stadiums concerning the origins of the high five. But out of all the triumphant sports gestures, such as fist bump, fanny slap, fist pump, end zone dance, and chest bump. The high five stands in a class all on it all on its own. High five. <laughs> well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow for our Friday show. For Joy and the entire crew of Lemmings Live, I'm Octavio. Have a Thursday. <laughs>